up everyone, I'm Sydney Goodman and welcome to IGN on the 6, IGN's premier Rainbow Six Siege show where we bring you exclusive access to all things Rainbow Six Siege. On today's show, we take an exclusive look at the team behind Operation Phantom Sight and all the changes coming to Season 2. Plus, we bring in popular Rainbow Six Siege content creator, Get Flanked, to help our squad learn the fundamentals and turn up the competition. Oh, oh my god, they're peeking <laughs> All that and details on a free-to-play weekend called Proving Grounds, so make sure you stick around. Let's go. So what's new with Operation Phantom Sight? We're bringing two new operators to the mix. We have Nook and Warden. We always try to shake up the meta a bit when we introduce new operators, and with this one specifically, we have Nook, who's working against the intel gathering devices of the defending team. And this is something that we haven't really seen before on an attacking side. And on the flip side, you have the defender, Warden, who is actually intel gathering in a way that we haven't seen before. So in Operation Phantom Sites, we decided to, to reroute Cafe. We have some data that tracks the win rate ratio between attackers and defenders for each map and for each objective site. We wanted to change the way this map is played. We play the game a lot, so we know like certain aspects that are a bit frustrating for players. So for example, the bakery, we wanted to close a lot of the windows because we knew players didn't really like this kind of gameplay of staying outside the bakery, just waiting to get a kill. The white stairs blocked the railings, so we didn't have like this gameplay of like having to fight through the railings. That's also frustrating. We liked the gameplay of the skylight because it was something that was unique, but we wanted to control the view players could have like onto the bar, so we decided to close the sides of the skylight. The benefits of this rework is that we expect the map has more replayability. All the objective sites will be more balanced. We want to give the defenders more variety in the strategies. We mostly also look at how people play these objectives by either watching videos from influencers, watching pro games and tournaments, or even us playing the games. Uh, we also read a lot of comments on Reddit, on Twitter, see what people think about the map. They also have like, really good advices usually. All of this combined can make our decision on how we change some aspects of the reworks. So reverse friendly fire, as soon as we launched it on test servers, like day one, we've been getting great feedback and players have really appreciated it. Team killing has been the kind of number one issue that the community brings up over and over. So us being able to address it has been something that's great. It's changed the conversation of the community. So season two, what we want to do is address squads. So what we want to do is make sure that when you're in a squad and you do do a certain threshold of combined damage, the entire squad is sanctioned. The other thing we want to address is abilities, operator abilities, making sure that it's balanced and that they too can be part of the formula for reverse friendly fire. In rank now, when you play around, it's going to be consecutive either attack, 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 or defend, defend, defend. We saw that players actually learn a lot with their first attack round. For example, if they're attacking, the next round, they're more likely to change tactics. When you're attacking consecutively, it puts you in a state of mind that makes you want to try new strats and address the other team. With all these changes that are coming to Ranked, we didn't want to introduce 6th pick right away. There's still the possibility of using that 6th pick in a toxic way, in a way that isn't really strategic. So we wanted to remove that element and then maybe see if the community really wants it in future seasons. So there's a couple of things we looked at when we're talking about having bomb only mode for Ranked. One of this, those things was a level playing field. So it's hard to measure a ranked player who's only playing hostage versus a ranked player who's playing bomb. So what we want to do is make sure that when we measure the skill of a player, it's something that is the same for everybody. So that's why we kind of move to one game mode. Also, moving to one game mode means that matchmaking is a lot quicker. We have a lot of filter preferences between the game modes, so if you're moving towards one game mode, you're in the match a lot quicker too. And the reason why we chose Bomb specifically 
was this is the game mode that we look to whenever we bounce. We get incredible feedback from the pro community because that's the game mode they play on and all of our maps are really balanced for bomb mode first. When you're looking for a competitive match, you're looking towards the bomb mode in Rainbow. Operator standing. Rainbow Six is celebrating the upcoming launch of Operation Phantom Sight with a special free weekend event called Proving Grounds, which runs June 6th through the 9th, where you can train up with your friends free and save up to 70% if you want to pick it up. Then celebrate the launch of Operation Phantom Sight with the E3 Celebrity Showdown. Watch Team T-Pain and Team Lil Yachty compete for a $50,000 charity prize pool. Up next, we sit down with Get Flanked one-on-one -on -one and learn the basics of Rainbow Six Siege. Get Flanked is a YouTuber with over 300,000 subscribers, a content creator for Dark Zero Esports, and a popular influencer for Rainbow Six Siege. He's a platinum ranked player on both PS4 and PC, and he's best known for giving tips to help beginner to intermediate players level up their game. And that is exactly what he'll be doing for us today. We're here with popular influencer Get Flanked. Thank you so much for joining us, who is going to impart his Rainbow Six Siege knowledge. You have a YouTube channel that you've had for three years, right? Where you just kind of help help the people. So now it's time for you to help us. As a beginner, what would you say are like your three biggest tips? The, the first thing that I would say is when you're starting out, try to simplify the game as much as possible. So there, it, Rainbow Six Siege is a very complicated game. It can be overwhelming at first. But, I would agree with that. Um, you know, yeah, but on defense, there's certain operators that you can kind of gravitate towards mm -hmm. and you don't need to feel the need to run all over the map. You can just kind of stay in the objective and anchor as we call it and you're doing a good thing for the team. Uh, try to gravitate towards operators that are a little bit more simple as far as their utility and how you can get the most out of them. And just try to, you know, kind of stay on site and simplify the game as much as you can on the defensive side. As far as on the attacking side, the big thing is get inside the map uh, safely. If you do that, your chances of winning a round go up. Beyond that, it's, you know, map knowledge, but there's not really any shortcuts there. You just have to play the game and kind mm -hmm. of, you know, uh, you'll be playing the game and somebody will have a clever little, we call them kill holes set up. They'll just put a little small hole in like a destructible and a soft wall. Mm -hmm. And you'll never be looking for it because there's not normally a hole there, but you'll walk by it, they'll be looking through it, they'll get an easy kill on you. You watch the kill cam, you see, oh, that's a really cool angle mm -hmm. that that person had set up. So you can learn that, add that to your repertoire, you know, and yeah. going into custom games with an operator that has like some soft destruction like a buck or a sledge mm -hmm. destroying the floors the ceilings and seeing what's above you what's below you that can create some uh, some good opportunity to learn uh, the maps but more than anything else playing the game learning from your mistakes and seeing what other more experienced players are doing is how you're gonna learn the maps quicker than anything mm -hmm. What advice would you give to people who are maybe, you know, they've been trying to get into this, but it's not turning out how they'd like? Obviously stick with it uh, because it is, like you said, it's rough in the beginning. But I think that they're, for everybody who really gets addicted to this game, they can kind of go back to one moment. I call it like the siege moment. If you're familiar with the, uh, the map bank, I was rappelling down one of the skylights in this big open lobby, which is horrible tactical decision. I mean, uh, you're yeah. you're you're not in a good position there, but I was doing it and I was repelling down. I was a noob like anybody else. And as I'm repelling down, I look down and there's an enemy player that's like walking underneath me. So I'm repelling upside down in this big, beautiful lobby, pull out my gun while I'm repelling. I shoot him, I get the kill and I'm just like, wow. And then you get killed is, immediately. <laughs> well, I, 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 <laughs> no, I'm I, kidding. I, I may have actually, but I was just like, that's not unlike anything I've ever done in a game yeah. before. Like, I, I feel like a lot of us as, as as first person shooter fans, we've dreamt of scenarios like that. And maybe we've done that in like campaigns against like NPCs, but yeah. to actually do that in a multiplayer experience is unlike anything I've ever done before. So after that moment for me, I was hooked. Yeah. And I think that once stuff like that starts clicking, it's, it's, it becomes a lot easier. It's time to put our skills to the test and jump in with Get Flanked. Our IGM squad has different levels of experience in Rainbow Six, but we'll be practicing all year long to become an effective Rainbow Six Siege squad. Let's go. Okay, the time is now. We are jumping into the Operation Phantom Sight test servers. We've got Andres, 
We've got Jordan, we've got Destin, and of course we have Get Flake, who is going to lead us to victory and impart his wisdom on us. All right, let's do this. Do you guys want to try? Do you guys want to try a rush? Sure. Calm down. All right, open that door and let's just go up the stairs. It's gonna be the first floor. It's, this is gonna be make or break. Let's go. You gotta commit. You gotta commit to the rush. Dustin, commit. I'm gonna just die. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we might. We might have to re rethink this. Oh yes. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Oh man, they, dude, they just rushed us. I got it. Five. They're all rushing towards you. They're really hungry, so if you get one, there's gonna be another one right after. Dustin, you got this. Are they on the ground for it? Okay. Another one's gonna be charging after you. Like probably coming from your right. Your right. Okay, that's that that'll that'll do some damage. Okay, you wanna switch to your weapon? Oh, okay. A melee air, melee air. Melee now shoot! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we have been eliminated. Dude, you are killing it! <laughs> I think he shot his <laughs> <laughs> What a scrub. <laughs> I got faith in us. Okay. You tell us the strategy. Alright. Win our first game together. Uh, let's go to, up to the roof. Everybody just right. get to the roof safely. That's They're it. probably going to shoot. Try not to go towards the windows too much. Yeah. So, right, who's Sledge? I am. All right. Uh, you can come over here and open this hatch. Uh, I'll yellow ping it. Me and one other person should join the top floor before anybody drops. Hatch just to see open. if anybody... I'll help you it. Okay, Frost is up there. She's underneath the skylight. I am going to ping her. She's, uh, she's right underneath the skylight on that ping. All right. Oh, I almost had her. Good hit. Okay. I think she's Yeah, there yeah. we go. Oh my gosh! Yes! Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. I distract them a little bit over here. All right, let's. Yeah, there's two. Are, are we going in? Oh, wait, so. I got someone right here. I'm taking him. What time? Yeah. He's uh, right where my drone is. He just went off camera. I just took it out. He's by the staircase. You know okay. that kitchen? Okay. Did you drop down? Uh, he was sharp right. Uh, Ella's up there too. Ella's sharp Did right. Did not go in? Oh, oh no right. way. Oh, my. Damn. She ran They're out. outside. They're outside on the roof. Yeah. Sydney left. downstairs. Oh, Let's go. Nice. nice. You got Sid. one coming up to you right now. Yeah, they're gonna push you really aggressive. Fletch. One right downstairs from you, yep. Sid. He's co coming up. Oh shit! No! Run! 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 run, 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 run. run. <laughs> You're okay. Okay. <laughs> I think that may have opened it though. So mission yeah. accomplished. Oh. Oh, there's coming. You dropped oh, down. There she's coming right yeah, at you. Get him, Sid. Yes. Finish him off. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh! Oh! I'm eating my mic. Uh, Good try. Good all try. right, all right. So it looks like first team to win an attacking round is gonna win this game. This is coming down. Oh, we got this. We got this. It's been a defensive game. All right. So the mirror can go like right here. Reinforce right here. Use the F to reinforce and then put the mirror right there. We definitely need everybody to use all their reinforcements on this site. So hold, hold five. Hold five. Hold five. Hold five. Okay, hold five. they have a maverick. Not dead. Nice. I'll guard this door right here. Oh no, they're t okay. They're upstairs, second floor. Nice. Oh guys, I see One them. Coming uh, in. I, One I coming see in them. They're coming in right on this room right here. Okay. Can I blow up that? Uh, yeah, she's go she went in that room. If you look through here in this little oh, hole. Oh, I got one. Good Ooh. stuff. Yeah. Back entrance. Back entrance from the beginning oh. where you guys were covering. All right. Oh, I see yeah. Him. He's gonna get me. Nope, stay cover. Don't over peek. Just make them make enter our room. Down. Oh, I bet you, the other guy is... All right, last ones were on just a shot, I think. No, he's in that room. Right? He's in that room. The open mirror. The open mirror room. The, the room the mirror was looking into. Yeah, I see it. Oh! Let's go! Nice. Nice, dude. Dude, that mirror is clutch. Now I see what you're saying. Wow, we did surprisingly well. We'll be working on our skills all year long, so make sure to stick around for more tips and tricks for how to be a better Siege player. Make sure you tune in every month for the latest inside scoop on everything Rainbow Six Siege. We'll bring you exclusive details from the devs, commentary from popular members of the community, and so much more. 
I'm Sydney Goodman, and thanks for watching IGN on the 6th.